Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Last month, David Weiss sent me two letters. In the first letter on June 7th, he said, I have been granted ultimate authority over the matter, including responsibility for deciding where, when, and whether to file charges. The quote that the ranking member just put up. Later that same month, he sent me the second letter where he said, no, I don't. No, I don't have that charging authority. So June 7th, he says, I'm the boss. I can do whatever I darn well want, file it wherever I want. And then June 30th, he says, no, I can't. What happened in between those two events? Your testimony went public. He goes, oh, my goodness, I got to change my story because now the truth's coming out. And it sounds like in this investigation to me, Mr. Shapley, that the prosecutors and the investigators were in agreement for most of the investigation. And then we get to October of 2022. I see Mr. Ziegler nodding his head. And that meeting is where David Weiss told you something. Is that right, Mr. Shapley? What did he say? Can you put your mic on there? What did he say? Yes, he told me he was not the deciding person on whether or not charges were filed. He told us that uh, D.C. U.S. attorney had declined to allow charges. He told us that he had requested special counsel authority from Maine DOJ and denied that and authority. And was denied. That's correct. Were, the, were you the only guy in that meeting? I was not. How many other people were there? There were seven total people, including me. You and Mr. Weiss and, and five others, right? That's correct. And uh, did any of them, have any of them come forward and say what you just said is not true? They have not. No one has, right? That is no correct. one is. No one has disputed, refuted. No one said you, what you said is not true. That's and did correct. you memorialize what took place in that meeting? Did you memorialize that? Yes, I did. That day when I returned home from the Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office, I, I put it in an email to the two senior executives at my agency. You put it in an email that day. That's correct. Contemporaneous when, when it happened. I got the email here. It's Exhibit 10 in your testimony when you were interviewed by the Ways and Means Committee. October 7th, Friday after Friday evening, 6.09 p.m. That email, right? That's correct. Sent to Mr. Walden and Mr. Batdorf. Who are those individuals? Uh, uh, Mike Batdorf is the director of field operations for Southern Division of IRCI, and Darrell Walden was the uh, special agent in charge of the Washington, D.C. field office. These are your bosses, right? That's correct. Did Mr. Walden get back to you? Yes, he did. Remember what he said? He said, thanks, Gary, you covered it all. You covered it all. He didn't say, thanks, Gary, but you're wrong. That's not what happened. He affirmed what you said. You covered it all, and you laid it out. You spelled out just what you told me a few minutes ago, right? That's correct. What Mr. Weiss told you in that meeting. Yes. And when that goes public on June 22nd, last month, Mr. Weiss says, oh, I got to change my story. I better send a letter to the, the, the Judiciary Committee where he says, I stand by what I wrote, but I wish to expand. I wish to fix it. And then he had to further go uh, go further in July when he talked to, when he sent a letter to Senator Graham and said, to clarify again, they've changed their story. You guys haven't. What do you think happened? What do you think? Mr. Weiss was consistent with the investigators up until this October 7th meeting, and then he changed. What do you think happened, Mr. Shapley? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what uh, happened internal at Department of Justice. But uh, what I can say is that um, is that the story has been changing uh, from Department of Justice and U.S. Attorney Weiss. And uh, I think it, the only person that's really had any documents that have been corroborated are my own. Exactly. I think what happened. I think it's obvious. Anyone with common sense can see what happened because he said it in Mr. Graham's letter. He said, I had discussions with Maine Justice. I had discussions with the folks, the big the deputy attorney general, the attorney, whoever it was, I don't know, but he had discussions with the people at Maine Justice, and suddenly things change. And that all became evident on October 7th. And until October 7th, the investigators, to Mr. Raskin's point, the investigators and the prosecutors, they were in agreement. Here are the facts. Here's how we do it. Here's how we've always done it. We got the two best agents in the place on the case. Let's go. And then shazam, something changes. Initially, everyone was pounding their chest. David Weiss has complete authority. Now, suddenly, he doesn't. He doesn't because you guys came forward and told the truth. I yield back.